Investment in securities market is subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing. So, 200 rupees we are putting, 100 rupees stock A, 100 rupees stock B. And stock B completely goes down to zero. Bankrupt. B for bankruptcy. Both. And in five years, uh, stock A suppose goes to 500. Right. Thik. Right. Now, even in this scenario, right, 50 percent of your initial corpus has gone down to zero. You know, in some ways. Right. 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 Wow. So the, even though the index is compounding long term at 12, 13 percent. Yes. The majority of stocks in the index are not compounding at yes. 12, 13 percent. So they are underperforming the. So interesting. So how exactly does an investor then? go and build a, a diversified portfolio. What are the options available to investors who want to create a portfolio? Sure. So, uh, so many working professionals, uh, you know, will not have time, resources or expertise to directly invest in equities, mm -hmm. right? Uh, for such folks, investing in managed portfolios like an equity mutual fund is, you know, a better option. Hi there, my name is Saurabh Mukherjee and it's my pleasure to welcome you, welcome you to the fifth episode of Guru Mantra with Saurabh. I'm joined by my colleague Krishnan. Both of us work in Marcellus Investment Managers. Krishnan heads the Investment Advisory Vertical. Uh, in the preceding episodes, we've discussed about the benefits of long-term equity compounding. We've also discussed the demerits, the disadvantages of lots of trading. In this episode, we'll discuss why an equity investor should build a diversified portfolio rather than punting on this or that stock, right? So Krishnan, you know, we, in, when we were growing up, right, our parents taught us don't put all your eggs in one basket. I suppose they were trying to give us the, the basic tenet, the basic mool siddhant of, of diversification. Um, can you explain fr in a, from an investor's perspective, what is the benefit of a diversified portfolio of stocks? What exactly is a diversified portfolio of stocks in the first place? So uh, uh, when we say a diversified portfolio of stocks, we are saying uh, at least you know uh, you know uh, you know uh, you know definitely not a single stock portfolio, but uh, a set of stocks which uh, you know which again you know can offer which are fairly uncorrelated, and which can uh, provide. Uh, you know some buffer to the portfolio so if one stock is not doing well right the other stock can hold up the portfolio right it's almost like a ballast right so again going back to this example which you gave a beautiful example which you gave in one of the earlier podcasts right so consider a two stock portfolio right and uh, you're investing you know 100 rupees in you know in both the stocks right okay. and one of the stocks completely goes down to zero so 200 rupees laga rahe, 100 rupees stock a 100 rupees stock b and stock b completely goes down to zero bankrupt b for bankruptcy both the and in five years uh, stock a suppose goes to 500 right thik. right now even in this scenario right 50 percent of your initial corpus has gone down to zero you know in some ways right, right? right. even in this uh, context so over a five year period your portfolio would have earned a annualized return of 20 percent very interesting we have 200 rupees for five years and 500 rupees for 500 even though half the portfolio got wiped out wiped at out. the outset yes so what this tells you is uh, again the benefit of holding again two stocks in this case stock a has made up for the loss complete loss of capital in stock b right which is the essence of diversification right uh, now uh, again when you look at market commentary uh, typically what you see is uh, you know it runs around you know the company stock price right uh, that it's going to surge or you know it's going to plummet right or this company is going to do xyz uh, so what usually happens is uninitiated investors often get mis misguided and end up putting all their money in one stock ah, because right? hype usi prakar ka hota hai ki aaj ye stock chal raha hai exactly. everybody is talking about the stock log ko lagta hai ye ek le lu to meri zindagi badal jaye exactly so they end up uh, putting money in that stock or a very narrow set of stocks right, right? Uh, and our analysis, uh, you know, based on empirical data, uh, again, this is based on, again, our analysis, you know, again, over multiple market cycles, this suggests that this is a very unwise strategy, right? And the reason is, uh, what we have found is majority of stocks, you know, if you take even like a 500 stock universe, the BSE 500, which is, you know, investable universe as such for Indian investors, majority of stocks in this BSE 500 fail to beat the returns of the index, the market cap weighted 500 stock index. Wow. Wow. So the, even though the index is compounding long term at 12, 13 percent, yes, the majority of stocks in the index are not compounding at yes. 12, 13 percent. So they are underperforming the so interesting the the benchmark, right? So uh, and even though this analysis, you, you can think about, you know, maybe someone are, you know tells us, you know, that you know this is very specific to Indian stock market. It is not so. In, right. You know, similar studies have been done in other. So stock you're saying markets. only a small minority of the stocks in the market exactly drive the entire. 
returns in the market. What sort of, when we're talking small minority, what sort of percentages are we talking about? So, uh, if you look at, for example, the US stock market, you know, the analysis, uh, you know, done, you know, by, you know, again, different studies have shown that uh, only around 4% of the listed companies, right, right, explain the net gain for the, the entire, entire US stock wow. market. So, so 4% of stocks are driving the entire market ka return. Yes. Baki 96% stocks ka koi yogdaan nahi hai. Koi yogdaan nahi hai. Amazing. And we have found uh, almost similar numbers for India, right? right? Uh, in fact, the numbers are even smaller for India. Uh, but again, uh, in these uh, the four percent number which I gave you is for US stock market. So, between BAC 500 ke context mein agar dekhe, if we assume if we apply the four uh, percent rule, basically 2030 stocks yes. end up driving the BAC 500 yes. return. So therefore, over diversification is also not a good idea. Yes. So, 200 stock ka portfolio chalana is also not a good idea, neither is it a good idea to punt on one or two stocks. Exactly. So how exactly does an investor then go and build a, a diversified portfolio? What are the options available to investors who want to create a portfolio? Sure. So, uh, so many working professionals, uh, you know, will not have time, resources or expertise to directly invest in equities, mm -hmm. right? Uh, for such folks, investing in managed portfolios like an equity mutual fund is, you know, a better option. Uh, among mutual funds, obviously, you have a lot of options. Uh, you know, you can go for an actively managed mutual fund or you can go for, you know, a passively or, a, you know, a passive option like an index fund. Uh, which basically follows a market cap weighted, uh, you know, index like a Nifty or a Sensex. The index fund will invest in the whole market proportionate exactly. to their weight in the market. Exactly. Okay. Right. Uh, uh, another option is obviously, you know, you can invest in portfolio management services. Um, and uh, obviously this requires a minimum uh, of 50, 50 lakhs minimum exactly. investment. Mm -hmm. Right. A third option is to invest in managed portfolios, uh, you know, through online platforms like uh, small case. Mm -hmm. uh, portfolios uh, on these platforms are managed by investment advisors like myself. Uh, or research analysts uh, for investing in these uh, you would need a brokerage or a, a dmat account right so the merit or queue offering which we talked about advisory right. offering which we yeah. have uh, uh, from marcellus uh, falls in this category so this uh, you know strategy is available on small case uh, so once you have subscribed to merit or queue on small case for example uh, you can execute the buy and sell order uh, you know again through your brokerage DMAT account, account right. through your DMAT account and uh, since the portfolio you know once you buy the the portfolio it resides in your brokerage account at any point in time you have complete control over this portfolio right so if you want to you know tomorrow you know uh, you know maybe realize the proceeds of you know again whatever you have bought you can do it immediately like I said you know it's fairly liquid so folks there you have it equity investing is a good thing the last 20 years of data is very clear the Indian stock market gives you healthy returns in the long run but you only get those healthy returns if you create a high quality diversified portfolio punting on one or two shares basis some tips or that day's fashion is not going to get you rich neither will an over diversified portfolio take you very far how do you get a high quality diversified portfolio Krishna is saying you can go and invest in mutual funds there are several high quality mutual funds in India secondly portfolio management services providers PMS firms also offer uh, ready-made portfolios that you can subscribe to provided you invest the minimum of 50 lakhs and the third option Kristen suggested is is portfolios created by investment advisors such as, such as himself available via platforms such as small case merit or queue is the portfolio Krishnan uh, uh, creates for for Marcellus's clients thank you very much for joining us in this fifth episode of Guru Mantra with Saurabh in the sixth episode we will look at what drives long-term compounding, right? And the benefit of high quality capital allocation and how that drives wealth creation for you. Thank you so much for joining us.